Hi and welcome to another battle report. This is uh, our campaign game because uh, so I playing my listenman 1500 and he plays one by counts uh, 2000 points so it's gonna be a tough one for me. Uh, but to start with his list a bit, he have um, to the left five blind knights, then a spirit host, unit of uh, skeletons. Uh, unit of black knights um, behind black knights you have even zombies with his vampire general in it in the skeleton spearman you have a vampire and a necromancer level 2 uh, don't remember the spells um, you also have a unit of graveguards with uh, a necromancer in it uh, I think this is the one with purple sun then you have a corpse cart with a other necromancer on it and you can see to the right he have a unit of skeleton there as well this picture showing his uh, other flank behind that house he have five x-ray and some vanguarded forward uh, not vanguarded this is actually yes I think they are vanguarded Vargeist in my excitement of actually having to get the opportunity to play a game again um, I forgot to take a picture of deployment so this is after my I got the first turn a lot less dropped than him um, so you can see the um, Pterodon move up to bait charge his Vargeist he did double six the Lacedon moves up to use his laser cannon on the Vargeist and I have the Stegadon down the left and the salamander push up a bit well here you can see the rest of my deployment I have the troglodon the chameleon skins with my two level ones in it uh, the salamanders the saurus warrior back down the jungle swarm and some chameleon skins hiding behind those rock uh, my plan here is actually avoid his army as much as possible take out a small unit the hex rays the vargeist avoid the grave guards uh, to all cost with my army so that's why the Saurus is standing far away from him in the back, as you can see. Well, the Vampire Counts player dispelled uh, my laser cannon. And you can see here, uh, this is the only picture I have of his turn. But he pushes the units up. Nothing special over there. And uh, he uses Wind of uh, Gaze of Nagash on the Tardon, wiping them off, but uh, in the meantime um, he got the power drain, so one of his wizards is not a wizard anymore. Well, in the Lizardman's first second turn, nothing of value happened at all. He dispelled the laser cannon and I back away from him with everything else. Uh, so you can see here is his second turn and you can see he have moved up a lot with a lot of units closing the gap in between the undeads and the dinosaurs he did get off purple sun i thought oh it's so long he cannot reach me but he rolled an eight on that dispel uh, artillery dice so he gets in kills about 15 saurus i actually failed a Look out on one of my Scarlet, uh, which was kind of harsh because uh, they have initiative 2, I think. Uh, yeah, but I I passed my initiative, thankfully. But the Saurus unit is greatly, uh, have suffered greatly. Well, my turn. Really, nothing happened. I back away even more uh, away from his unit. Uh, you can see here I put all my monster on this flank. His war guys uh, get into the Bastille Dun, and I am prepared to counter charge. Um, I'm keeping out of distance from his hex rave out of 8 inches, so he cannot really charge me or move me or anything. So, um, this is after his move, so that's why he is in that position right now. The Black Knight charges into the Saurus Warriors, and you can see I hold. Uh, he did kill and blow my general, unfortunately. 
but uh, I hold and I did uh, some tremendous damage to his unit uh, but some Sars died as well on this flank his war guys didn't really do much to the Bastilodon um, I did some damage to him and he lost and he only have one of his dudes left and I slide down in my reform later well this must be when Pai counts turn 4 nothing happening my turn this Tegadon charges down his Vargeist and they all run out of the arc of the Hectric the Troglodon move up uh, with the Salamander and they actually managed to spit uh, spit down the court cart which was kind of cool uh, but as you can see here I managed to kill the Black Knight and what he did now he charged me with his skeleton and in that combat he would whiffed pretty badly the vampire won't even kill anything and uh, I will kill some skeleton and he will lose some skeleton but that's it as you can see I use my level one as shaft to stop up his black knight his blood knights from doing anything so they will overrun uh, and hopefully be charged next turn in the flank by my salamanders well on this flank uh, what he did I pretty much boxed in his hex wraith with the salamander and stuff so he couldn't really do much with them he had to what he could do he did he did actually walk through my level 2 and he did manage to kill that but otherwise not much happened uh, as you can see here the grave guards have charged the salmon have failed charged the saurus i think um, that was very nice of them to fail so the dinosaur turn 5 uh, what happened here? You can see it. My Troglodon, Stegadon, and Salamander slams into his skeleton, and we managed to grind it out in the end. Uh, Bastilodon moves up uh, next to the Hex Rave. Uh, it doesn't look it like it on this picture, but. Uh, he actually cannot move through it because of the distance. Um, I think that's how it works for the hex rave. If there is any vampire counts player here, can maybe tell me. Um, you should be able to. You need to be able to finish the move across the unit to be able to slam them. Right. Otherwise, you cannot just pass through them. Uh, if I'm incorrect, I'm sorry. Uh, but that's how we played it for this game. Well, this picture looked kind of weird. I think this is my turn 5. Um, my Jungle Swarms have flank charged the Skeleton to give some extra support because the Saurus units are pretty much depleted. I think he managed to push through another Purple Sun through that unit again, uh, so that's why some of them actually died. Uh, I don't know why the Salamander have flank charged the Blood Knights. That's definitely. Uh, not correct. I I must have forgotten they have they were fleeing and actually just tossed them in there. It's uh, I think at least I kind of cheated a bit there, but I'm not sure how we were thinking there. Uh, but anyways, that's how it is. Vampire counts turn number five. He flank charges my Saurus, and that spells the end for that Saurus unit. Well, here you can see, um, I did manage to get away, which was really, really nice. The Jungle Swarm, I actually got some some combat dress here, because I think I killed some Skeleton. The Vampire died, he didn't kill too much of me, I killed, I think I killed the Grave Guard. Um, I think I lost by 7-ish, so the Jungle Swarm suffered several wounds. Uh, so that's good that they hold. My turn 6 and the Laser Dome works. He uses his Laser Cannon and kill off the Hex Rate. The Salamander here um, 
kills the blood knight uh, and here is the hard picture um the last picture i mean um yeah uh, these two guys uh, stops him from getting a lot of points from the source unit he only get 25 now from taking their banner um i did were some a really hard movement when I have to roll the dangerous terrain test uh, on that Saurus and uh, it didn't show up as a one which was very very nice um, so that's all it ended up being a pretty big victory for the Lizardman so that's mean I wiped out his army uh, he didn't decimate my army enough so I actually don't lose any units uh, in our campaign we are playing you have to take out 500 points to decimate an army uh, I think it took 300 uh, characters on count for victory points uh, he took out the general and the uh, pterodons and uh, the swarms I think that's it yeah yeah that was it did take uh, so that's it. I hope you enjoy this small kind of battle report. Um, it's hard. It's been uh, much at work and school and stuff like that lately, so I haven't really had time to do much. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments, comments below. Feel free to like and start subscribing. Have a nice one.